With us, we have UT as one of the top film schools in the nation. It's no doubt that many of these, stu these students are producing their very own short film length. In studio with us today, we have Terilyn Andrea. So, what is, and y'all are here to talk about Firebug. So, to start off, what is Firebug? Uh, Firebug's a short film, and it's about a young girl who's a pyromaniac, and she ends up so she's addicted to setting fires and she ends up hurting the one person that's really been supporting her through her life and after that she has to kind of take a look at her addiction and the damage that it's been causing and stuff like that. And who's playing this role? Um, we just finished casting actually so we have uh, a young girl uh, named Alex King who's the, the female lead and uh, we have a guy who's uh, named Dylan, I don't remember his last name but he's <laughs> just been cast as the male lead. Awesome, congratulations. That's mm -hmm. an awesome success that y'all are able to do this short film on y'all's, that's, that's so cool. And then here's me, I'm in college and still trying to figure it all out. So how did you come up with this story? Um, well, this is my last semester at UT, and so I just kind of wanted to make something. And originally, it was going to be like a smaller project with just me and some friends. But Andrea told me she's in a producing class, and one of their projects is to produce something from start to finish. So kind of teamed up with her and then it like grew from there and so yeah that was just from me and my friends we were all coming up with ideas bouncing them off each other and that's the one that everyone liked. Wow so y'all are students going to class and able to make a short film. How can you balance it all? Um, it's pretty hard um, but we find like times in everyone's schedule that lines up sometimes it's really really late or really really early but okay. So we're all really dedicated to the project and, you know, make accommodations for everyone to make it work. Oh, I bet. Of course. And how many people are working with y'all to make this short film happen? Um, a lot. Uh, there's, you know, uh, there were two writers. It was me and my friend Tyler. And we have three producers. And then there's, uh, we have a director and a uh, director of photography mm -hmm. and a lot of other people who are just going to come and help. Uh, day play and stuff like that. So, it's and a lot are they of students as well? Yeah, I think they're all students. Our our casting director was a graduate, um, and Tyler actually graduated last semester. So, okay. a couple of them are graduates, but they all went to UT. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then y'all are students. So, how are y'all funding this story? Through Indiegogo, actually, and just last night we reached our goal, which is really exciting. Awesome! Oh my goodness, that's really cool. Yeah. And so what is this? What is that company? Is um, it Indiegogo? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's kind of like Kickstarter. It's like a crowdfunding website. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Awesome. So. so you've just had multiple people help y'all fund this, uh, this story. Mm -hmm. Great. And so yeah. like majority, like family, family members, friends, have you gotten some in contact with UT alumni and UT staff members? Um, we've had a lot of family and and friends they've been really nice some people mm -hmm. that you know we haven't even spoken to in a long time and they've mm -hmm. taken the time to donate and and talk to us about it it's been really kind of touching in that way so it's really cool great and what kind of obstacles have you been going through this whole process um, well you know being n not professional um, it's kind of hard to get into some like locations and stuff like people are apprehensive to let student crew run around they just you know they think of us as like you know guerrilla filmmakers we're not like <laughs> that's mm. great yeah. And the, yeah and then as she was saying just getting everyone together they are all mm -hmm. going to school as well or working mm -hmm. and so um so yeah it's tough to get everything together but everyone's been really like she said accommodating and stuff like that. yeah that's awesome and where are y'all filming are y'all staying around campus or um, from, I think actually all of the film is going to be sh shot in Bastrop, which okay. is about, it's like 45 minutes from here, um, so in the woods around there. Yeah, and with the recent, semi-recent mm -hmm. fires, is there a, any like, you know, destruction around those areas, or are y'all wanting to use that for the short film? Yeah, we're, we want to definitely use that environment, and there's a lot of, uh, there's not any explicit tie-in with the film, but it's definitely something that kept in mind and one reason we chose Bastrop. And when can we expect this movie to be released? Early 2015. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for coming in. We truly, truly appreciate it. That's all we have for today. If you want more news and weather, y'all can follow us on Good Morning TX. Have a marvelous, marvelous morning.